Welcome back to TGIF. Thank God it's forever where Jesus most definitely comes first. This once again is Chapman and he teaches you the unchangeable word of God. This was this theme song and you'll know. It's me. Hello guys. Welcome back again to this week's episode of TGIF. Thank God it's forever where Jesus does most definitely enough absolutely does come first and always will hello guys how is everyone doing tonight i'm glad we are here again together it's not just as the family of tgif which yes you are family but the family of god it's more important to be a part of the family of god than the family of tgif excuse me there as Bill Gaither once said, I'm so glad I'm a part of the family of God. I am washed in the fountain, cleansed by his blood, joint heirs with Jesus as we travel this far. I'm glad I'm a part of the family of God. Don't mind my singing, I can't sing, but I'm so glad I'm a part of the family of God. I'm so glad to be a part of... See, if you're just a part of the family of TJF, you can't be washed in the fountain and cleansed by his blood because you're just part of this family. But if you're part of the family of God, that's, that's where it all matters and counts the most is the family of God. The Bible says this, where people say, I'm, uh, uh, I'm part of Peter, and I'm part of Paul, and I'm part of Cyrus, and I'm part of this, and I'm part of that. But w what did the disciples say? Well, I'm part of Jesus. Because why? Because it's better to be part of the family of God rather than be part of a worldly person. Don't get me wrong. It's good to be under somebody. You should always be under somebody in the ministry, yes. But being part of that family of God is the most important piece of your entire being so with that being said thank you guys again i'm glad you guys can tune in this week and let's give my listeners a clap offering because i'm not really offering you any praise because i don't praise anybody but jesus but without you guys i wouldn't have a show I, I can preach it to the pews all day long but if i just preach it to the pews that ain't going to get me nowhere and the word needs to be going out so i can't save pews but i can save people through Jesus. So with you, that being said, thank you guys for tuning in each and every week. Let's give my listeners a clap offering. Thank you guys for tuning in each and every week. Running a quick message for all my listeners. There we go. And send. With that being said, let's get into a few brief announcements because I got, I got a good word for you. And this is a long, I call it a long word because there is one. There's two. There's three, four, five, six different scriptures in today's word. Not ten, like last one time. But there are six different individual scriptures and they arrange from the New and the Old Testament. So, with that being said, let's get into a few brief announcements so we can get into the Word in a little while. First announcement is go to, and I hate, not that I hate to repeat this, but I don't want to keep repeating this, but there are some people out there who so desire to go to community called 222 at gmail.com, spelled C O M M U N I T Y C L O U D, 222 at gmail.com. What can you do right there? You can send me all of your prayer requests. Even if you just want me to shout out to you on the podcast, send me your first name, your city, and your state. And I'll shout out to you on TGIF, where Jesus does, most definitely and absolutely does, come first. Also, you can call me at 1-302-448-8443. Again, that's one 
302-448-TGIF where once again Jesus does most definitely and ultimately comes first. Also, keep in mind we'll be doing this tomorrow. <clears throat> well, technically, yes, we will be doing it tomorrow. Technically. But there is going to be a small change to this. And we'll tell you the small change in just a brief minute. But tomorrow is not just another day. Even though it is. It's not just another Tuesday. It's not just another episode of TGIF. It's not just another Worship Tuesdays. Tomorrow is going to be, even though it is Worship Tuesdays, tomorrow is going to be a phenomenon. Do, 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 do. Phenomenon. Do, 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 do. Phenomenon. Do, 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 Tomorrow is going to be a phenomenon known as Worship Tuesdays. Where we be, we be doing nothing but worshiping God. That's TGIF slang for we be. We be. We be doing nothing but worshiping God. So tune in tomorrow to Worship Tuesdays. And here's my little bit of announcements for that. I just got a new job. Just got a brand new job working at twelve fifty an hour. After, 30, after 90 days, I'll get a 50 cent raise. Praise God. I'll be working at $13 an hour with health insurance. And here's how easy the job is. You ever heard of ship shopping or curbside pickup? That's basically what I'm doing. Except for the only difference is I'm doing it at a warehouse at a produce company called Sarnia and Sons. So they give me a list. And they go, this is your list. And go grab the items. So I have to take, it would say on there, uh, Cooler A, Slot 1. You need three of them. So I go to Cooler A, Slot 1. I get three of them and I put them on a dolly. I wheel them out to the front, and then when we're done, we after 8 o'clock, we load them into a truck. So technically, I'm a glorified warehouse ship chopper. <laughs> so with that being said, I do have to change Worship Tuesdays to a bit. Monday is perfect. Monday is off. You all can listen to me on Monday. I don't have to change that for nothing. But Tuesday, I have to change that a tiny bit, so... With that being said, it will be okay. It's still going to be on Tuesday. We're still going to have Worship Tuesdays. I'm just going to have to do Worship Tuesdays a bit early than normal. But with that being said, we are going to still do Worship Tuesdays. We'll do it tomorrow as well at 6. And then we'll try to figure out a good date. I mean, a good time. As to when I would love to have the time before work so I can do Worship Tuesdays as well. And with also with that being said, <clears throat> with that being said, here is another a brief announcement. Be aware we are going to be having somebody on the show as a guest real soon by the name of Dudley Smith, who used to sing with Jimmy Swaggart for many, many years back in the 80s. And he's going to be gracing us with his presence here on TGIF, and hopefully he'll sing us a song. He is a great artist, great singer, and he is a a minister now. He is a pastor of his ministry. He is a reverend, or a pastor, I call him, Pastor Dudley Smith. So look forward to hearing from him in the next couple of weeks. I'll put out a flyer as soon as I can, ASAP, and I'll let you all know through the show when, where, in what time he'll be appearing here on TGIF, where Jesus does most definitely come first. Keep in mind, and we're going to be doing this too, as the rumble, where we'll be shaking the heavens, rattling the earth, and rumbling against the principalities of darkness and evil. We'll take one day out of the week, preferably at midnight. Why do I say Well, we'll take, here's what we're going to do. Back in the day when boxers used to box, they were rumbling. The Bible says that we don't rumble or fight against flesh and blood but are principalities of darkness and evil. We'll take one day out of the week and do nothing but pray, 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 fight, fight, fight. And rumble, preferably at midnight. Why do I say at midnight? Darkness likes darkness. So when you take a dark room and it's dark, darkness likes darkness. When you put light into the room, darkness starts to flee. Same thing with Jesus. When there's darkness in people and you pray for them, the light of Jesus 
dispels the darkness, just like in, in your dark room. Therefore, we're going to take time to pray for you, the listener, us on the show, and we're also going to take time to pray for the to pray for the government and all the people within the government as well. So we're going to take and do all that as well, and we're going to be praying for people. So that's the rumble. We'll take one day out of the week and do nothing but pray. Also, just as a reminder, and I say I don't want to have to keep repeating it, but I do because, you know, some people do this. But download the app. It's an, it's the newest thing from TGIF. It's Podcast Portal from TGIF, spelled P-O-D-C-A-S-T slash portal. That's P-O-R-T-A-L. That's P-O-D-C-A-S-T slash P-O-R-T-A-L. Only available on Google Play and the Amazon App Store. So get Podcast Portal new from TGIF, where Jesus does most definitely come first. Now here's what you can do with Podcast Portal. You can listen to the show. And with a free Spreaker.com account, that's S P R E A K E R dot com with a free Spreaker dot com account. You can make all the comments you want to on the show. You can make any comment you want to during the show, after the show, or any or any time that you would love to. That's with a free Spreaker dot com account that's spelled S P R E A K E R dot com. Not speaker, but Spreaker. Also, what you can do is you can connect with me through Facebook, Twitter, and email. That's right. Instead of going to community cloud two 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 at gmail dot com spelled C O M M U N I T Y C L O U D two 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 at gmail dot com. See how much of a breath it takes to do it? Instead of doing all that, here's what you do. Go to the bottom right hand corner, you click on the email button, looks like an envelope. Then from there you click on your email client, which is Gmail, Yahoo, or Outlook or whatever you use, and at the very bottom it would say always. And you just hit always. And that means every time you click that button itself, it'll send you right to the email. And then you can then you can connect with me through email at communitycloud222 at gmail.com without having to spell it all out. All you have to do is just hit the email button, bottom right hand corner. Click your email client, which is Google, Yahoo, Outlook, whatever you use. And then hit always at the bottom. And you're done. The first one's going to be a little difficult because you have to push all those buttons. But once you're done doing that and you hit always, it'll automatically always send you to that specific email address right there at the email button. It can't get any easier than that. Now, excuse me, not only can you listen to the show or make comments with a free Spreaker.com account, not only can you connect with me through Facebook, Twitter, and email. Not only can you do all that from with me, but what else you can do is this. You can listen to the three play buttons, which is well, first one's 95.5 The Fish from Cleveland, Ohio. Second one is a Christian country gospel station out of Texas. And the third is my former church evangelical Christian churches. So you just hit the play button, and there you go. You play your music straight from there. And that gives me the opportunity to allow you to listen to good music. Don't get me wrong. The music that I got is great. It's good. It's wonderful. And I praise the Lord for it, and I praise the Lord with it. And it's great. We we worship God together on Worship Tuesdays with these songs. But it gives you you the option to listen to other music like Torn Wells and and uh, for King and Country and stuff like that, so you get the opportunity. And Dolly Parton too is part of the For King and Country for for a minute, and you get to do things with them as well and listen to them. So it's a blessing. So with that being said, you can listen to the three play buttons. So you can listen to the show, make all the comments you want to with a free speaker dot com account. Connect with me through Facebook, Twitter, and email. Again, that's s p r e a k e r dot com. Connect with me through Facebook, Twitter, and email. Listen to the three play buttons. And not only can you just listen to the three play button. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I was over there waving to my wife, and my arm is underneath my microphone, and I just beat my...